Should you run your AI system on-prem or in the cloud? The answer may surprise you. Let's talk about it. So uh, this question came from you guys, the uh, watchers of this YouTube channel, in terms of where should you uh, host your uh, brand new generative AI system that a lot of people are building right now? And should it be on premises in your data center or should it be on a public cloud provider? And it, it's an interesting answer to a question that's that's fairly complex. Uh, you got to remember that this is normally a more complex issue than just to put it on prem or in the cloud. This is about a very detailed architectural solution that's going to be optimized for your particular AI deployment. And and sometimes it's going to be all in the cloud. Sometimes it's going to be all on-prem. But in many instances, it's going to be a mix of solutions and platforms, sometimes on-prem and, and in the cloud, and sometimes on the edge. And some, So it's, it's a lot of uh, complexity and details that kind of come in here. So your requirements kind of really dictate the architecture and the platforms that you need to pick. So keep that in mind as we go through this. So I'm just providing you with general guidance, but nothing that should be uh, confused with specific advice around your AI system and where you should run it. So keep that in mind. So first, let's talk about on-prem solution, on-premises solutions for AI. What are some of the advantages and disadvantages of it? Well, the advantage would be we have control over the data and therefore security. So uh, since we own the hardware, we have complete control over the security systems and how the data is managed and the performance of the data uh, because it's running on our, our hardware. And so if people or businesses are looking for maximum control of the information, that's normally the solution you want to consider. And some industries have strict regulatory needs, HIPAA, things like that, healthcare and finance, uh, where there could be some risk in running it on a public cloud provider. And if that risk is so high, it may make sense for you to run it on-prem. Next would be the ability to customize the workloads when you're dealing with an on-prem system. Um, because again, you own the hardware and you have complete control over it. It allows for deep customization of the AI models, algorithms, infrastructure, uh, the processes you're running on, things like that. Where in the cloud, you're actually picking things as uh, something that be can revision to you as a virtual device or virtual machine. Uh, so you don't have complete customization over those particular models in a multi-tenant scenario where if you own the hardware, you do. So specialized AI application needs, unique configuration, specific performance criteria, things like that. When those sorts of things kind of come out, it may make sense for you to own the hardware that you're running your AI system on. Uh, next would be performance predictability. Uh, and this is an advantage, of course. Um, if we're running our stuff on a single piece of hardware, it's very easy to pr predict performance of that particular piece of hardware because we know the MIPS, um, we know the memory configuration, you know, the operating system configuration, we know how it was tuned uh, because we have control over uh, control over all of it. Where if it's in the cloud, it's in a multi-tenant environment and you're sharing resources with any number of companies that are sharing that cloud provider with you. And so Performance can be a bit more bursty in the cloud as a consequence. And so if you need performance predictability, then the uh, uh, then the on-premise solution is going to be a better option for you if that has to, if that is on the critical path. The other thing is cost considerations. Um, while on-prem systems can be more cheaper, sorry, it can be cheaper than running it in the cloud, um, you have to remember you have people around who have to maintain it, you have power. Uh, you have to pay rent on the data center if you're uh, you know, leasing the data center space from a co-location provider, things like that. So you have to consider costs. There's some advantages and disadvantages in the cost of running something on-prem, and that should be considered with the uh, cost of running the same workloads in the cloud. Now, what are the disadvantages of uh, running your AI system on-prem? Um, a high upfront investment would be the main one. In other words, you have to make significant capital investments in buying the hardware and sometimes buying the data center space or, or renting the data center space. And you have ongoing costs of maintenance, upgrades, energy consumption, those sorts of things. Remember, you buy, you own it, you have to maintain it. So you have to have this, this larger upfront cost to buy the hardware. 
uh, which is pretty significant in many instances. It's certainly significant when you're talking about an AI system when in many cases you're looking at higher end servers that are running GPUs and higher memory configurations, higher performing systems. And so you got to pay that. So that's one of the disadvantages of doing something on prem. Um, limited scalability because, again, we're buying a piece of hardware and it only is able to take us up to a certain uh, processing load. And then you have to buy additional pieces of hardware, bigger servers. Uh, it's going to have limited scalability. So scalability is completely controlled by you. We're in the cloud. And we're able to uh, auto provision and, and provision systems as needed. And it's going to provide more elastic scalability on-prem on prem environments aren't going to have, provide the same capability. Again, you're only going to be able to scale up to the limits of the hardware that you purchased. You're also going to have to uh, have specialized expertise around to keep these things running. You have uh, expertise around for deploying, managing, and op optimizing AI model infrastructures on particular pieces of hardware that you own. So higher complexity maintenance management you know, compared to cloud solutions. And that's one of the reasons people have a tendency to uh, look at cloud as being the path of least resistance for AI because they don't have to have the specialized experience. They don't have to make the capital investment, things like that. There just could be a cost disadvantage in doing that. If you run it in a cloud, you could find out that the cost of operating your AI system is substantially more expensive than some of the on-prem systems. And we'll talk about cloud next. So what about running your AI system in the cloud? Well, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages there as well. Scalability, and this is an advantage, scalability and flexibility. Cloud easily scales to the resources up and down based on uh, the amount of resources that are needed. And that's the great reason, the primary reason to leverage cloud computing is because we can just provision the resources, the CPUs, the platforms, the storage that are, is needed for the particular application, in this case, an AI application. And therefore, if we had dynamic AI workloads for training large models, things like that, where the processing power that's required could go up to a very intense level, very high volume levels, uh, it's able to handle the scalability because we just start throwing resources at it. Of course, those resources cost money, but we're not going to run out of hardware resources as we would with some of the on-prem configurations because it's going to be a virtual system or systems that exist in the cloud. And we have access to basically an unlimited number of resources that we have to pay for. Uh, another advantage would be access to advanced AI technologies. And this is a huge reason in terms of how people, why people are moving their AI systems into the cloud or building their first generation AI systems in the cloud if they, if they don't have experience with it. There's an ecosystem that's ready to go uh, from a cloud provider. They're able to provide you with the AI tooling you need, the storage systems you need, the training that you need, specialized uh, uh, utilities such as bias checking systems and testing environments and all these sorts of things don't have to be procured and installed on hardware that you own because we're dealing, uh, uh, putting it in the cloud. We're able to allocate any number of technologies that are needed to build, deploy, and operate our AI system. And it's just there. So in other words, it's either going to be a, a native system that's provided by the cloud provider, or it's going to be a third-party uh, service that you can find within the marketplace. And so it's one-stop shopping. We're able to hit basically an easy button to get allocated to us all of the resources and utilities and technologies needed to build and deploy an AI system, which is hugely powerful uh, versus having to do take a DIY approach if we own the hardware, which is which is the trade-off. Also cost efficiency for dynamic workloads. The pay-as-you-go pricing sometimes is a better, uh, it, it's a better business arrangement for many businesses because you're basically only paying for the resources that you leverage. And so very much like we pay for electricity and pay for water, the more we use, the more we pay. Uh, and the less we use, the less we pay. Some businesses like that. Again, you have to look at the cost of that. There's a cost trade-off there, but that's one of the things to consider. So what are the disadvantages of putting your AI system in the cloud? Um, potential data security and privacy issues, as we mentioned earlier. Some people like to have ownership of the servers where their data exists, and there could be some privacy and security issues that arise within some cloud providers. By the way, we're picking on cloud providers with this because I have not heard of uh, instances where uh, lots of data has leaked 
uh, because of the fault of the cloud providers. Normally, it's something that's a misconfiguration or something that's more user errors that causes the issue. But there's reasons why we won't leverage cloud computing for some of the AI workloads. And if you think about it, uh, many of these AI systems that are being built right now is kind of a bet the business kind of strategic system that's going to provide a true innovative different differentiator for the business. And they may think of those things as putting the crown jewels, their data, their knowledge into one single place, and they may not want to take the risk of putting it up on a public cloud provider. And I can understand that. So you have less control over AI customization, limited ability to fully customize AI infrastructure and configurations compared to some of the on-prem setups. Um, so if you have specialized needs, uh, proprietary AI applications, things like that, uh, where you need more control over the systems, um, there may not be as much fine grained control in leveraging a cloud-based uh, AI ecosystem. So you're gonna find that it may make sense for you to put it on-prem. Finally, and the biggest thing is gonna be the cost consideration for high utilization. So the cloud can be extremely costly versus some of the on-premise premises environments. And we, we've discovered this in the last 10 years, the prices of hardware has plummeted uh, and it's fairly cheap to build these things or build these servers and put them on-prem. Uh, where the cloud costs in high utilization workloads, is which, which is what AI is, it's going to take a lot of processor time, also very expensive processors, GPUs, and lots of storage to do the training of the models and storage for the models themselves, uh, may end up costing you a lot more um, than the counterparts or basically the analog that exists on-prem. Uh, so, And that's the main reason why people may not want to put their AI systems in the cloud. Uh, again, it is the path of least resistance that we're going to build and deploy an AI system because we have all the stuff there that we're able to provision as we needed on demand. But the long-term expense might exceed those of well-optimized you know, on-prem infrastructures. And if you're pricing an on-prem version of an AI system and a cloud-based version of the AI system, and they're very similar, you're going to find over a five-year period of time that the cloud version of that is going to be significantly more expensive because the cloud provider needs to charge you for using the processor resources, storage resources, network resources. You have data ingress fees, egress fees. In other words, you put information in the cloud and take data out of the cloud. Sometimes there may be charges aligned with that. And so lots of reasons why the cloud is going to cost more. And in some cases, it could be at a cost level where enterprises are going to avoid putting in the cloud, putting it in the cloud, even though they may find that uh, putting it on-prem takes a significant more work, time, risk. So keep that in mind. Cost is a huge issue. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment below. Uh, also, um, check out my... Um, uh, generative AI architecture course out on Go Cloud Careers. My course is out on LinkedIn Learning, my InfraWorld blog. You know, check me out on LinkedIn, check me out on X. Love hearing from you guys. Let me know what kind of topics you want me to cover here. I'm happy to do that. So until next time, you guys stay safe. Cheers.